We're about to make a movie that's bright, clever, intelligente, whatever you want to call it. What's going on, my Pinnacle Studio peeps? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. For those of you who needed to crank out a movie with a quickness and get it out there to your friends and family so they can check it out and view it and remember the times, like Michael Jackson said, then you need to know how to use the smart movie function in Pinnacle Studio. So I'm going to show you how to get it done in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's get into it. All right, my Pinnacle Studio peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, and I am about to show you just how smart Pinnacle Studio can be, all right? So let's jump off into this tutorial. Wait, wait a minute. I, I need to tell you a few things before I jump off into this. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do those things, it lets people know that the content in this video is bueno and that they should watch it too. All right? Thank you. Oh, almost forgot. Remember to smash that subscribe button. All right? Smash it, people. If you want to see this type of content on a regular basis and you want to know when it is uploaded to YouTube, you got to smash the subscribe button so that you become a Pinnacle Studio peep and you know when I upload videos and then you can watch and get a little bit of studio education going on. All right? Let's make the smart movie thing happen. So right now I'm on the edit tab and you can see that I have some tabs open with some media in them. Well, basically those things will all be available once we go into the organized tab to be able to create the smart movie. So when I click on organize, we still see the tabs at the top and I have access to the data or the media in all of those tabs. Also, if I want to import something, I could just right click and select quick import or I could go up to the quick import button and then I can import more media that way also if I want to I can open up a new tab by clicking on the add new tab button and then I could go to my media library and choose what media I want to have us access to from my watch folders or I can just click on one of these tabs and then change it from whatever it is to the media that's available in the watch folders alright so that's telling you how to make sure you get your media into Pinnacle Studio in order to get your smart movie thing going on and if you look at the bottom of the screen you'll see a lovely little smart movie button now I'm gonna click on smart movie Now what Smart Movie does is it allows us to utilize our media, whether that be pictures, whether it's videos, whether it's music, and it allows us to combine them into a quick um, edited movie that you don't have to do a lot of work on. So if you just have pictures of uh, some event and a few videos of it and you just want to throw together a professional looking video without doing a lot of work, this is the tool for you, my friend. Let me show you how to use it. First thing you want to do is you want to bring your media down into the timeline of the smart movie. Now, you can grab media from multiple locations. It doesn't have to be media in one location like I'm going to show you. You can go to whatever locations you want, import whatever media you want, and then drag it in. I'm real hungry right now, so I'm going to just use this food here. And I'm going to drag all of this down into the timeline. Now, I don't think there is even a limit on how many clips you add to this. So you could just keep adding and adding clips and it'll just take them. Take them like a champ, I tell ya. Alright. So you see I got my clips down in the timeline. Now, I also want to add a little bit of musica to my smart movie. So I'm going to go to a tab that I know I have the music available on that I want to use.
and I'm going to left click and drag the music down into the music track. All right, so now that we have that done, let's talk about a few things. We have our settings over here to the right. First thing we have is the title. So you can type in what title you want and Pinnacle will create a nice little opening title sequence for you. Then you can choose the length of each clip. So you can have your clips go for a short period of time, medium, long, or maximum. I'm gonna leave mine on medium. Then you can choose if you want to add a pan and zoom effect to each one of the clips or video that you have on here. What it basically means is that the clip will move either forward, backwards, it'll get larger, smaller, uh, it can move right to left, it'll just pan and zoom in a different direction. And then if you have images that don't fill the resolution of the screen, then you have access to the fit image button. So if you click on a specific one and it doesn't fit the screen, then you can click on this to adjust the settings to make it fit and fill the entire screen. All of my images that I have are 16 by nine and they are 19, 20 by 1080, so they fit the screen already. So there's no need for this to be active. Next, we have adjust length to music. So with my music in the timeline, I can click this and then the movie will be exactly the same length as my music, which is a really good way to make it look more professional. There's also another option available for you. I'm gonna leave that checked on here. But if I wanted to, I could actually click on my music with the left click of the mouse or right click on the music and then go to open editor. When I do that, I have the option here with my mark in and mark out points to go ahead and trim the music. So if I know that I want it to be just one minute long, then I can left click on the mark out and I can move this over until it gets to one minute. Or as close to one minute as I can get it. And so now I know that the music will be one minute long. All right, if I click on okay. Now you see the time of the music has changed here to one minute. So I'm gonna right click on it, go back to open editor. And I'm gonna drag my mark out point back out and click on okay. Cause I want it to be the full length of three minutes. Now we also have the media order. So if you have it as defined, that means that However you have it here is how the media is gonna show up when you do your smart movie. It will show up in this order from left to right. Then you have chronological. So if you have metadata with the dates and things in your uh, clips, then it'll go by chronological order. And if you pick random, then Pinnacle will just choose how the media is displayed. I'm gonna leave mine on here as, as defined. And then if you have any videos, you can choose how loud you want the volume of the video to be because if you have video and music, you may want the uh, the speakers in the video to be heard or you may not want them to be heard. You might want to slide this down to zero. You might want to slide it up to 100. It's really up to you. Then you also can clear your project. If you're done, you can click, hit on clear and it'll remove the music and everything else from the timeline. And then you have your video settings for your timeline. So if you click on that, it has the aspect ratio, the imaging, whether it's 2D or 3D, the size of the video or the resolution, HD at 1920 by 1080 here, and then the frame rate. You can change those here if you wish.
Now keep in mind, you can also create a song using Score Fitter, and it will be placed here in the Smart Movie, and this will automatically fit the size of the movie for you. And if you have the Smart Sound plugin, if you bought that separately, or if you had it on a previous version and now you have it on 19, then you can use Smart Sound as well to create a song that fits the length of the movie. Now here at the bottom of the screen, you have a few options. You have edit. So if I click on edit, then it will let me edit my movie in the full editor in Pinnacle Studio. So if I want to add effects, if I want to add um, titles or whatever, now I can do that. Now the beauty of this is it already added everything from the smart movie in here for me. So it added that title that I talked about when I typed in Food Frenzy. And then it added all of the clips at the length that they need to be to fit the size of the song, which is something else I selected. So you see that here. But now I can add whatever else I want to it if I wish to do so. So I'm going to go back to the Organize tab. And I'm going to click on Smart Movie again. So the other option at the bottom is preview. So using preview, I can get a quick preview of how the movie's going to look. I'm not going to play the whole movie, of course. So we got the preview, and then the last option is export. So once it opens up the exporter, you make your selection, whether you want to do a file, a disk, uh, send it online, file type, all of that good stuff. Click on Start Export, and then you got a movie that's pretty much a brainiac. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, make sure you click on that. It lets people know that the content in this video is good. Leave me your comments, just drop by, say what's good, say how you doing, or if you need help with something, Ask me a question and I'll be sure to get back with you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last but not least, you got to subscribe to the channel. If you want to be up on the know and get notifications whenever I upload content to YouTube, subscribe to the channel so you can get more Pinnacle Studio goodness from your boy. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.